Hey there, Joey from dayjobhacks.com. Today marks a special day. I've hit 5,000 subscribers, and today I'm gonna to talk about how YouTube has been able to replace the income of my corporate government job where I worked 12 years, and I'm going to show you the data, everything about it, how I've been able to replace that income with YouTube traffic, and hopefully this video will inspire people to understand the power of social media and how you too can do the exact same thing with just a little bit of effort each week, okay? I'm gonna show all of that inside this video, so stay tuned. Today marks a special day because I've hit 5,000 subscribers, so I wanna thank all of you who actually care about what I have to say about this topic, and I appreciate it every time I see you guys subscribe and I get to you know, give back to you with information and topics that I enjoy talking about. So this channel was built with the goal of getting 100,000 subscribers. It was part of the training. I'm gonna be talking about Powerhouse Affiliate in this video. I'm not trying to pitch Powerhouse Affiliate, but in order to get the point across about how I was able to generate income from this channel, as well as some of the things that I've been doing behind the scenes, I have to mention this as we go forward. Um, but over the time of building this channel, I've, I've done videos about the milestone. So 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, the monetization of the channel. And now we hit this point where I've actually have the revenue now coming in from this channel that I was making after 12 years of working at a government job, okay? So um, I've learned a lot over the course of building this channel and hopefully it inspires you to do the same thing. If you're, into, uh, if you're looking into building a YouTube channel for yourself to create revenue online or if you just wanna brand or do whatever it is you wanna do, um, this video should help. So on that point, what I've learned over the course of this channel so far is that you have basically some opposing factors that you're going to have to get through, okay? You, you have two main opposing factors when you're building your YouTube channel, and that is going to be the haters and the dinosaurs, okay? So you have the haters, and if you don't have haters, then you're not doing a good enough job. This is my opinion, and I see haters all the time. They're saying your content is crap. They're saying, you know, um, actually I've had death threats and I've, you know, it's only been a year. I've already had one death threat. Um, this is the thing you have to get past. I mean, building a YouTube channel, you're going to be exposing your information across the globe, okay? And you're gonna have people that come there and they're not gonna like you. I've gotten over that, and that is one thing you have to be able to get over. The other thing are the dinosaurs, the people that are saying, you know, you need a job, you need to go to university, you need to get you know, your ass out of bed and go to work every day, okay? Those people where they don't understand social media, they don't understand how it works, and they don't understand the power of it. Um, the, the other people are the people that are always complaining, you know, you're building your business on someone else's platform, YouTube, what if YouTube shuts your channel down, all of this stuff, right? Well, if you're, if you're working in a nine to five job, you're basically doing the same thing, you're building someone else's business, and as soon as they wanna fire you, you're gone. So there's so many different ways to look at this that you can't care about those things. You just have to understand that this stuff actually works, and that is the inspiration of this video, is to show you that it works. I'm going to show you now the data the money that's coming in, how it's happening, all of that stuff. And hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, of course, please give me a thumbs up and like, subscribe, whatever it is. So let's get into my computer now and let's show you some of the data. Here we are inside my computer and quickly I wanna show you the revenue and then I'm gonna describe each part of that revenue. Now let me also say up front, I am not trying to convince you to quit your job. I'm not saying don't go to university. I'm just showing you the other side of the coin here, okay? I've done both, trust me, okay? Let's just talk about this quickly. Now, for YouTube in itself, let me just show you the revenue from September, and then I'm gonna show you how I got it, the data, and all that stuff. So, we have YouTube revenue. That is the revenue that YouTube gives me for people watching my videos, $544.70. Affiliate revenue was roughly $846.80, and we have product revenue, $1,739. Don't worry, I'm gonna go through all of these and then explain them here shortly. And then we have a total of roughly $3,130.50 US. I live in Canada, which converts to $4,137.71. Now the requirements for me to start a YouTube channel, obviously I need an email account and a bank account, okay? Uh, maybe a little bit of knowledge in a particular subject, all of that stuff you know, is important. 
But uh, as long as you can create a Google account, you're pretty much ready to go and you can start creating YouTube videos. Now, for the government side of things or any type of job in particular, um, in this case, it's a government analyst job. But this is the job I had that I quit in 2015. Uh, trust me, I did not quit my government job for a YouTube channel, okay? I had another business already working. I was a media buyer. I still am a media buyer, and that is the entire content of this channel, okay? Uh, I had a lot of revenue coming in from that business where I was capable mentally to to quit that job, uh, especially uh, after getting support from my family to do so, okay? So this is not about quitting your job to start a YouTube channel by any means, so don't uh, think that's what this video is about. But at the time, I was making roughly $2,000 bi-weekly, which converts to $4,000 Canadian dollars per month. Now to get that $4,000 in revenue, I had to work several years to get to that point. I needed a bachelor degree that cost me $40,000 in debt after getting that degree. Uh, had to be bilingual at the time. I wasn't bilingual, but I had to take training in French in order to be able to do this job. And I needed four years experience, okay? Now, if you were to go and search this exact same job today, which I have done, um, you can see this is the job description here and there's a lot more to it to get that job. And you can see here the salary is still the same, 1584 to 2200 bi-weekly. Let's just assume I was at the top of the scale around $2,000 bi-weekly, but you need all of this stuff before you're even considered for that job. So. Um, this is just kind of a, a, a perspective, okay, as to what actually is required to, to generate this type of income with a corporate job. Now, of course, there's going to be arguments on both sides saying government jobs are more stable, you're going to have a pension, all of that fun stuff. Yes, of course, you're going to have a pension, assuming you still have your job in 30 years. They're going to pay you enough money to keep you there, and you're going to work only hard enough not to get fired. Trust me, that is where I was at working for another entity, okay? Now, again, I am uh, an entrepreneur by spirit in my heart. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to make money um, and I get excited about it. And that is why I've created this YouTube channel. If you're not excited about a particular topic and you don't have um, a desire to give information out, then YouTube obviously isn't for you, but maybe something else is online. So now let's go through each of these revenues and describe exactly how it works and why I was able to generate this much revenue after only a year of producing this channel and with only 5,000 subscribers. Now keep in mind, 5,000 subscribers, most of the people that watch my videos looking at the data are not subscribers. So it's, it's about getting your content out online. So let's go there now. Here we are, uh, you can see I have 5,015 subscribers. So thank you for the subscribers once again. Hopefully you're enjoying this content. Now, here's the estimated revenue for last month. This is the revenue that obviously YouTube is paying me because I was able to qualify for their monetization. So I'm getting views by people actually visiting YouTube, searching certain topics, and my videos fall in line for what Google or YouTube wants to show to people. So you can see here, all of my videos are monetized and that is where I'm getting that revenue from the views themselves. And you can see all of my videos have special thumbnails and headlines and all of that stuff that is designed to get people to click and watch my videos while at the same time producing highly relevant content around a particular topic. So whatever topic you're good at, whatever you feel like making videos about, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be the spokesperson and I've said this before, you don't have to be the person in the videos. You just need to create content that people in your particular niche want to watch and engage with and then you qualify eventually for the monetization of the channel. Um, so this is a very, very small amount of revenue that you're going to be making is from your YouTube channel. And I've always said that before in my other videos is that you're not going to be making most of your money from the YouTube monetization. If you're going into YouTube and you're thinking that you're going to get rich by, by doing this, um, 95, we'll say 95%, this is just a number I'm making up. 95% of people are going to make a, a, enough money from their YouTube monetization to make it worth your time. Okay. Um, of course, there are people out there with millions and millions of followers and they're getting millions of views. Like my daughter watches these shows on, on YouTube where somebody's driving over toothpaste and he's got like a million views or like the meditation channels with like millions of views. Um, that's a different story. I guess I, I, people aren't as interested in my topic, but I still enjoy creating the content. So keep that in mind. You need another way to monetize your channel and your traffic. Um, so that is where we're going to get into my other revenues. 
the biggest amount of revenue that is coming from this channel is is behind the branding itself the reason i created the channel okay is to brand myself and my training which i've created at powerhouse affiliate again this isn't a pitch for powerhouseaffiliate.com however it is a product i created a while back that describes a particular skill I have and people in my community have around buying traffic, getting traffic to websites and converting it into cash using affiliate marketing, okay? So we do training on affiliate marketing. We are selling content and resources like landing pages, a community and all of that stuff inside the product itself. So if you don't have a particular product, then you can either create one or you can either um, use affiliate products, which I'm going to show you here in a second. But first, let's just cover the topic of my own product, which is Powerhouse Affiliate. We sell training. So as you can see from the Google Analytics for last month, September, you can see that roughly 700 users came from YouTube itself, and those users converted to roughly $1,740 US in sales of the product itself. So these are people that have come from my videos, from the links in my descriptions in my videos, coming directly to my site. Again, wanting more training, wanting more advanced topic, more structured training and all that kind of stuff. And this is what um, the results are. So again, not astonishing numbers, 702 people in a whole month. But again, I'm only creating two videos a week at most maybe one video per week so roughly uh we'll say five to eight hours of work a week to create and maintain this youtube channel um uh, uh, some people are wondering why i waste my time they say wasting my time on you know making videos for youtube well it, it comes down to more about having something more stable more strategic branding all of that stuff where you have full control of what you do and when you do it. So that is why I waste my time doing this, okay? Um, and I don't think it's a waste of time at all. Let's just be clear on that, okay? So let's assume you don't have a product, you don't want to make a product. What else can you do to monetize your YouTube channel so that you can consistently earn money from the traffic that YouTube can generate, okay? So, so basically what we're doing here is we're basically just creating uh, traffic. We're creating content and we're getting traffic to particular pages on the internet. If I choose to monetize it with a paid product, fine. Um, or I can use affiliate products. So here's where we get into the affiliate products. Many of the videos on my channel, you will notice refer to tools or programs that I am using to build my own media buying business, okay? Looking at the videos, you'll see many of them on particular topics, um, pay per call. So I am obviously using tracking for pay per call. So I mentioned the tools that I'm using, okay? For Facebook ads, I'm obviously using Facebook, but at the same time, I'm building email lists and I'm using tools like Aweber, um, which is an email marketing platform. All of these products that I need to use in my day-to-day -day business I am an affiliate for, meaning I get paid if I promote their products. All I need to do is get a little link from their affiliate program and I put it into my descriptors or what I've actually done is I've created redirects on my website. So for example, every product I promote is always going to be day job hacks slash whatever product it is. So for example, if I'm promoting Aweber, it's day job hacks slash Aweber. Makes it very easy to manage because if ever down the road, one of the affiliate programs changes their affiliate links or changes the way their pro product is being pitched. I only have to change my redirect on my website versus having to go through all of my product videos or all of my videos and trying to change those affiliate links, okay? That would just be ridiculous. So I've structured it that way to make it very easy to manage. Now, let's just give an example. So one of the products I've recommended is the Bluehost hosting platform, especially for newbies who are looking to build a website, okay? Last month in September, $430 in revenue from YouTube referrals. Basically, in my videos, you'll notice I, pro I provide links to a, a, a domain, which is powerhouseaffiliate.com slash action dash plan. It is a page that kind of talks about how to build a website. A lot of my videos, I say, hey, look, if you want to build a website, I'm not going to go through it in this video. Just go to this link and you can learn how to build a website. They go to that, that, that page and they come here and you can see it has resulted in roughly 54 clicks in September, over 10% converted. Okay, this is a crazy conversion rate. 
Um, so over time, as this channel builds and more people go to that site and that page, obviously it's going to convert more and it's going to grow and all that stuff. That's the goal anyway. Um, but I'm not being sleazy. I'm actually just showing people a way to make a website. They need hosting. They need to build a website. And this is a, a product that it helps them because it's super easy. It's a one click deal, whatever. Okay. I'm not trying to sell you Bluehost here either by any means. Again, another product I recommend all the time is Optimize Press. I actually use this in my day to day performance marketing um, campaigns. And as you can see in September, three customers for a grand total of $158 in earnings. Again, I signed up to the Optimized Press affiliate program, got the affiliate link, go to dayjobhacks.com slash Optimized Press, and you're going to be able to see the Optimized Press link, okay? That's exactly how it works. Um, again, another one, Adplexity. I've done videos on Adplexity showing me spying on other competitors, what they're doing, how to find ads, all of that stuff. And that in September resulted in a $278 revenue stream, okay? Um, now these numbers obviously go up and down. You see zeros, many zeros every day. It can go up next month, down next month, whatever. But as long as my YouTube channel is growing and I'm giving good content, I'm not trying to sell these products um, blatantly in my videos. It's just a re reference. Um, it's going to continue to earn that type of revenue. Now other revenue that I didn't even factor into this is the uh, overall, uh, the growth of the brand, Powerhouse Affiliate, Day Job Hacks, the AdSense revenue coming from my blog, all of those things. I didn't want to just ramble on in this video too much, so I just kind of left it. But you can see that it's very um, straightforward how this is working. Um, the growth over the months and years has been steady. If we go into the revenue, you can see from the lifetime of the, the revenue here, um, it's it's been a constant growth upward. So I mean, it started right here in April of this year because that's when I finally qualified to be monetized. And you can see constantly going up daily, um, and that is the plan. It's getting up to roughly twenty twenty well thirty dollars here, twenty nine dollars US in one day. Uh, obviously, again, nothing to get super excited about yet. But these are the traffic numbers also that are re being reflected. If you look at the reach and the audience and all of these things, the numbers are all going upwards. Okay. And that is the goal here is to keep producing more and more content. This here, this spike was a paid ad. I mentioned that in one of the previous videos, but uh, going along here, you can see this is all organic growth, meaning basically what I'm doing is I'm creating videos with good headlines that I know people are searching. And I'm also doing descriptions with I, uh, that include those keywords that I want people to find when they're searching up here in the YouTube's uh, main website. And the tool I use, again, is right here. It's called TubeBuddy, dayjobhacks.com slash TubeBuddy. There you go. There's a plug. There's an affiliate link. But again, a tool I use every single day, the Keyword Explorer is a very valuable tool. And this is where I'm finding the topics. So if I'm doing a video today about YouTube revenue, I can be like YouTube revenue explained. There's a keyword that they're saying you should check out. Maybe that's the type of title I want to put in my video. And look at that. It says it's a very good keyword, lots of search volume, lots of competition, lots of optimization strength or low competition because it's in the green. So this, this will probably be in the title of this video, YouTube revenue explained. The fact that I said that in this video is also going to help my rankings and it's going to bring me up in the search to, in the search results for YouTube. Again, very straightforward. All right, there you have it. And that is why I do YouTube. That is why I waste my time on YouTube. I love it. It is one of those projects that I enjoy. I like seeing the activity. I like producing content. And would I make more money doing Facebook ads or Google ads? Hell yes. And that is why I continue to be a media buyer and buy traffic and train people on this channel on how to be a media buyer or an affiliate marketer or someone who makes money online. So I will continue down this path of YouTube. It is again, one of the most stable forms of income I have online. And hopefully you enjoy it and you'll be tuning in next week when we do some more training on how to make money as a media buyer. See you later.